Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. In this video right here, we're gonna do something that came out all unusual. But anyways, we're gonna do something uh, a little bit more fun today, a little bit more different, I suppose. I'm tired of all the overthinking type of stuff. Today, we're just gonna make a vinyl decal, all right? I know a lot of people usually use one of these uh, silhouette cutters. I've had this for a while now. It's just been sitting here. Maybe we should do a giveaway. So all you gotta do is comment down below your Instagram username and make sure you are following me. And I will make sure that you are following me. And probably in a week from now, I'll announce it. I usually do it on Instagram stories, so make sure you're following me. That's how I typically announce it. So if you're watching this video from a week from now, it's probably already gone. All right, so we're gonna use this vinyl cutter. Hopefully I got actual, I hope that's adhesive vinyl. We're gonna go ahead and do this, right? What we're going to do is achieve this right here. Wow. I'm gonna show you guys a simple way on how to do this. All right, let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna want to do is measure. Measure exactly how big you want your print to be or your decal to be. I'm not a huge fan of these Instagram username things on the car, but um, every once in a while, I would like to have some nice photos of the car. And now typically that's how photographers find the owner of the car is by the username. I'm going to a little car meet later today, so I would like to add it just maybe for a few days. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it. Looks about 10 inches wide. Uh, yeah, maybe 10, 10 or 11 inches wide, about two inches, two to three inches tall. So about 10 by two, all right? All right, so you can do one of two things. You can get the Instagram logo, copy it over, with a vinyl cutter, you need it to be in vector format. So I am in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna hit window and open up image trace. Man, I can't speak. Image trace. That took a lot out of me to pronounce that. <laughs> now hit ignore white down here and then hit uh, trace. And then hit expand. And now we have the vector format, all right? And make sure you wanna hold the shift button whenever you resize things because if you don't, Things like this is gonna happen, it's gonna be all out of proportion. You wanna hold the shift button. And now check it out. I have the window properties uh, menu open right here. So I'm gonna select both of these. And of course you just type out your text however you want it. You're gonna select both of them. And right here in your windows property, it's gonna tell you the exact measurements of this entire uh, you know, image or your decal. So right now it's 12.2. We want it to be around 10 inches. We don't want it too large. 10 inches there we go and then all we have to do is send it to our vinyl cutter also if you don't want to uh you know trace an image what you can do is head on over to defont.com and type in social and then it's already a whole bunch of logos in vector format all right so now what i'm going to do <sighs> i can't speak man so now all i am going to do is send it to the vinyl cutter all right Also, don't forget, I'm gonna do a giveaway for this. This is the Cameo Plus, the 15 inch. So make sure you comment your Instagram username down below and make sure you follow me on Instagram. Also, I'm gonna do another giveaway. Just stay tuned to the end of the video for it. So we're gonna take our vinyl. We're gonna head on over to the back. We're just gonna use this right here. Unfortunately, I don't have my tripod or monopod today. Just got back from LA and all my stuff is still at the house. We're gonna need scissors, tweezers, and then we're gonna need this uh, adhesive carrier. I don't know the exact name for it, but links would be down below for everything. All right, so now what we're gonna do is pull off the excess. And check it out, now you can see the design. Uh-oh, missing the underscore. I'll bring it back. The underscore is on here. Now you wanna be careful with this because it's sticky on this side. Make sure you don't get it on top of the actual parts that you want to stay on there. That's my mistake when I first started off doing vinyl decals and I hated it. Now what we're going to also want to do is remove the vinyl from the cavities. As you can see, now you can see your Instagram logo. Ta-da! Now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this in half. All right, now I'm gonna layer this on top of it. Where's my squeegee? Okay, you're also gonna want a squeegee, one with the nice little soft felt on it would be nice. That way you don't damage things. Now we wanna put it on there very nice and tight.
All right, so now, now that this carrier is on here, what it can do is pull off your vinyl for you. See how now it's on here? And this is the sticky side. So if you, if you take the whole thing off, now you can put it onto whatever your object is. In this case, the car window. All right, so let's see if I can find somewhere to put this camera. All right, so I think right about right there is good. Now all I'm gonna do is start peeling one side. And stick this side down. Hopefully y'all are able to catch that over there. All right, so now all we're gonna do is peel it off. All right, so there's a few different ways we could have placed it. So as you can see, the actual window is only right here. We could have placed it in the middle of the window, but I want it to be in the entire middle of the actual glass itself. So there's two different ways you could look at it, I suppose. But it looks pretty good. And that's how you do it, man. There's an easy 10, 20, 30 bucks. I don't know how much ever you can make profit, but vinyl decal has so much profit margin. And there's one easy popular thing that you can do, especially for a lot of people who like to market their company on the back and whatnot. But yep, there you go. And there you have it, that's pretty much it. So that's a very easy way to make an extra few bucks. So if you enjoyed this video, please comment, like, subscribe. No, I'm gonna do another giveaway. So, so I'll be in Fort Worth, Texas at the end of June. I believe June 26th to 28th. Made to Hustle Conference with Stan Bakes of T-Shirt Side Hustle and Allen of A-Dub Productions. So two other influencers within the apparel space. So make sure you check it out. I'm gonna give away two tickets for free. All you gotta do is go ahead and head on over to the website and there should be a pop-up where you can enter your email to join this giveaway. So make sure you check that out as well. So I'll be in Fort Worth, Texas for a more hands-on experience. I'll dive more into the e-com space. You know how I sell t-shirts online, whether it's Etsy, Amazon, some Shopify stuff. You know, I'll be in Fort Worth, Texas then. So make sure you check it out. Grab your tickets if you want to catch me in Fort Worth, Texas. I said Fort Worth, Texas like Fort Worth times. So Fort Worth, Texas, I'll be there made laugh so make sure you check that out we're giving away the vinyl cutter and we're going to give away two tickets to the made the hustle conference so make sure you check it out come and let's subscribe let me know if you like this video because sometimes i make very over complex videos speaking on the business itself and this was a very easy video for me to make so if you liked it comment like it and uh subscribe i'll see you next time peace i had this thing on for less than 30 minutes and i'm taking it off i'm not a fan of these things man I get the purpose. I want I want people to take pictures and tag me, but well, I think I'm gonna make a more discreet one and put it like up here or something. I don't know, but it's coming off right now. Living fast, over limit on the freeway, oh no cops pass. Had to dip out for a minute, yeah that's my bad. But I can't stay for too long. I gotta go, I gotta go. I grab my bag and hit the dash. Look at the camera. The camera's not here. <laughs>